Hey there, everyone. Today we have a very important topic to discuss that affects all of us. The teachers strike here in Romania. În a patra zi de proteste, profesorii au ieșit cu miile în stradă și au spus răspicat că nu vor mila guvernanților. As we approach the national exams, like the BAC or the exam for the 12 graders here in Romania, it's very important to understand the importance that the teachers play in our life. It's clear that education and teachers are actually shaping our future. So let's dive right in and understand why it's so important that teachers get the salary that they are looking for. You know, education is not just about passing exams or remembering what the teachers said. It's about developing ourselves, about getting knowledge and mainly about getting prepared for the future. Education opens doors and empowers us, and empowers us to make the difference in the future, in our world. Personally, I remember most of my teachers and what they were saying and I value them so much. They were like my mentors, they were people that were spending their times, they were spending their lives with me and my colleagues to pass knowledge, to pass values and education to us. They played a huge role for me to become who I am today. Obviously, family is very important, but kids and teenagers spend most of their weekdays with their teachers at school, even more than they probably spend with their parents that are working, that are doing things to get their bread to their table. So what we learn at school, what we learn with our teachers, with our mentors, is for sure so important in our personality, in our lives as adults. It's basically where we get all the knowledge, the critical thinking, the capacity of analyzing situations and things and opinions. So it's undeniable how important it is for us to have good teachers and for us to respect them as people. I even remembering, wondering why we were learning mathematics at school. I was like, if I'm not going to become an engineering, why do I have to know this hard stuff? <laughs> But mathematics, like other subjects, are not so important because of the content as per se, but mainly for forming our brains, for developing our heads, you know, for us to learn to think, for us to learn how to have a logical and critical way of behaving. So every single thing that we learn at school is important for us to become a better person or a smarter person. <laughs> so if you're talking about mathematics, let's talk about some numbers. Did you know that people with more education have a bigger possibility or perspective to have a better job in or better paid job in their adult lives? Yeah, it's true. According to recent studies, each year of education increases approximately 10% of the salary in a long-term reality. So the more you study, the bigger is the probability that you're going to have a well-remunerated salary in the future. But here's the thing. The teachers are the backbones of our society and they need, they should be 100% valued and respected and understood because they are passing the next generations the knowledge they are transforming the next generations so the kids of today that are going to be the adults of tomorrow are a hundred percent dependent on their generation of teachers they need to be fairly compensated and fairly paid for the job that they are doing because it's like extremely important in our lives They are actually the reason we learn most of the things during our school years. Currently, 
teachers in Romania have one of the lowest salaries in the European Union. And this affects not only the teachers themselves, but also the quality of the education that the students are getting. So it affects not only the professionals, but also the students. Imagine having teachers that are well-educated, passionate, motivated, and happy to go to school. A fair salary would not only impact their lives, but would impact the life of each student that will be able to be well-guided, that will be able to have a teacher that is like 100% focused on teaching and not worrying about the fact that if they are gonna be able to pay their bills or not. Because that's the reality that we are living today. Many of our teachers don't have the salaries or the salary good enough to make sure that they're having a quality life. And it impacts, obviously, in the quality of the content, the quality of their teaching, because they are stressed, they are upset, they don't feel like they are valuable. That's how any professional feel when they are not being paid fairly for the job they are doing. For me, it's so sad to think that uh, these people that are spending their day-to-day -day life to teach, to take care, to show values, to show respect and to help us to succeed in our futures, people that are actually creating our next generations and making sure that they are going to be successful are not being valued and they are like worrying about their lives they are not being able to have a fulfilling and happy life with the salaries that they get and therefore they have to have uh, they have to teach private classes after school they have to have side jobs to complement their salaries because the salary that they are getting for their main job is not enough and you know don't they deserve as much as free time as we have do they have to work in two or three other places to have a salary to maintain a happy and quality life? Does it make sense? Like, they are basically one of the most important people in our societies. Without teachers, we wouldn't be able to read. We would not know the capital of Romania. <laughs> it's, it's crazy because these people are basically giving their lives to help us and it's not like they are only working at school they also have to prepare tests exams they have to correct exams they have to plan the classes so their work does not start when they arrive at school like most of our jobs start as soon as we arrive at our job but for the teachers, it's not like this. They are working home, they are working at school, and they are still giving after classes, they are still give, giving private tutoring. So, I mean, can they have a quality life? Do they have to be unhappy and overworked and burning out just to be able to have a decent salary, a decent income? Take a look, for example, in Finland, where teaching is well regarded Teachers have a fair salary and they're valued. It's no wonder that Finnish students are ranked in, always in the top in all the international assessments. They probably have teachers that are highly implicated to give the best to the students. They are happy to work where they work and they probably are also afraid of losing their jobs. They are probably not having to worry if they are going to be able or not to pay their bills. They are probably not worried if they are going to have money to travel in their free time. They probably have enough free time. Uh, the fact that they don't have to worry about money, it's for sure something that help them to perform amazingly at their job. And the fact that people are well paid there also mean that good quality people, people that know a lot, that are good at teaching and they have a vast knowledge in their subject, will be willing to take this responsibility of raising, teaching and helping the next generations to be even better. Because nowadays I feel like many people that are highly knowledgeable 
are preferring to do something else other than teaching, right? In the end, even if we love what we do, even if we love our job, all of us are working for a salary. We are not only working for satisfaction. Of course, that there are amazing teachers that decided to work as a teacher even if they are not having a decent income or as much as they deserve. But imagine how many other great people would put in balance the good salary and the satisfaction of teaching. And we would have like amazing professionals working together to create an amazing next generation or next generations. And in the end, if we all work for a salary and if we all work for having a good standard of life, why should it be different with teachers that are definitely one of the most important people of our societies. We don't do this with lawyers, we don't do this with doctors, we don't do this with engineering. Why are we doing this with professors, with teachers? Why? Now, let's talk about the impact that it would have in Romania if the teachers do not accept the government's offer. With the national exams approaching, the strike could definitely disrupt and affect the fairness and the quality of the assessments that are going to be given. Se adâncește propastia dintre guvernanțe și sindicaliști, iar declarațiile făcute aseară au pus paie pe foc, iar situația este acum și mai incendiară în condițiile în care de luni ar trebui să înceapă înscrierea elevilor la bacalaureat, iar la finalul săptămânii viitoare ar trebui să se încheie școala, cursurile pentru elevii de clasa a 12 -a. According to data from the previous years, a strike among the professors and the teachers or lack of support from them could affect the students so much because it increases the level of stress, it decreases the performance and the country could be affected by that. If the students are not being able to learn as much as they could, the quality of the answers and the assessment is going to be lower as well. The grades are going to be low and it means that uh, the students and their knowledge is being directly affected. And not only, it increases as well the dropout rates that for me is even worse because in my opinion, grades are just a number, but the fact that people are dropping out from school means that they are giving up on the education system. And besides that, that there are many teachers that are threatening not going to the back that is the national assessment. And this would be like a huge impact because many kids would not be able to enter in the university this year. They would be affected like for their lives. If they are studying for the university, they are like studying for the back and due to the government's issues, their personal lives and their future could be impacted. When is the government going to start to see the teachers and as well the students and value them, value their lives? Our teachers' well-being impacts directly the lives of everyone. Because if they are well compensated, they are happy with their job, it creates a much more nurturing and much more supporting environment for all of us, for parents, for kids, for professionals, for other people that work at the schools. So it's just like a snowball, you know? Once something is affected, it affects many others. So it's crazy. For me, again, it's crazy that teachers have to go for private tutoring in order to compensate the lack of salary they are getting. You know, and the most shocking thing is that people are saying like, ah, oh, come on, the salary of the teacher is not what they have on paper because they are also having other jobs and side jobs. And this is not a justification because they are having the side jobs because they are not able to live a decent life with the salary that the government is giving to them. So they have to go after school in their free time. This is not an argument. The fair thing would be if the teachers would be able to survive with their salary and not being obligated somehow to have second, third, fourth job to complement their income. While it's true that professors and teachers are really basing themselves in this private tutoring, 
Let's take another look, a closer look into it. The fact that a high percentage of professors are actually doing this private tutoring, it just shows how they are giving up of their quality time with their family, with their friends, with their professional development in order to compensate it with some more income. How unfair can it be? Imagine if you'd be working after studying years, finishing your university and having such a low salary that you would have to do extra jobs in order to be able to support and to pay for the bread of your family. It's frustrating. Imagine how unhappy you'd be going to this work feeling like you are being underpaid. That's so frustrating because these people are really doing it out of love, out of a lot of effort, and we are not valuing them. And if you think that these teachers are frustrated and not being able to provide with their best services, you can also think that, ah, maybe the kids will learn better if they do private tutoring. Yeah, that's true. But what about the more disadvantaged classes, like poorer kids? Are they able to pay for this private tutoring? I don't think so. So many kids will have to rely only on the classes that they have at school and understand that they cannot pay for a private tutoring. So the quality of the learning that they are getting isn't the best because our teachers are not being able to have a decent life. So they're stressed, they are burning out and this reflects directly on the kids. Like, and if we think that these kids are the future of a country, not investing in education means that we are condemning our countries for a sad future, a poor future. To gain a broader perspective, let's kind of compare Romania with Brazil. Comparing Romania to Brazil, I see here that the salaries in Brazil for teachers increased a lot in the last years. And in this year, it arrived to be 4,420 Brazilian reais, which means 4,100 Romanian lei for now. It's not the ideal, but, but for sure is a big investment and I think it's the minimum, minimum, minimum. Dacă ne uităm la acest fluturaj de salariu, un profesor debutant primește în mână 2700 de lei, cu tot cu sporul neuropsihic și indemnizația de hrană lunară. Ajunge la 4000 de lei dacă dascălul are 25 de ani vechime. A teacher should receive. Even though Considering that doctors are getting much more than that and engineering usually as well and lawyers as well, I think professors and teachers should be a much higher salary than, than we, they have now. Education should be like for sure one of the biggest inve investments of the government because the education we get today is the future of our country tomorrow. If we are not investing on our kids, if you are not teaching them well, how can they work and be like good people with uh, good critical thinking, good knowledge about geography, history, about philosophy, that are things that definitely, definitely create a person. It's even out of the argument a little bit, but it's funny for me that uh, religion was added in the back, being the fact that nowadays we have people from so many religions and knowing about Jesus and knowing about the Bible is really nice if you are an Orthodox or if you are Catholic or if you are Protestant, but this doesn't create any kind of... Um, knowledge except for spirituality and spirituality is nice but i don't see how it is connected to school if you guys know why religion was added to the back please leave me down here because i was confused but anyway it's important for us to know mathematics history philosophy romanian english maybe spanish french i know that many of you guys learned this 
And this is so, so important because every day the world is more globalized and the more languages you speak, the better it is for you. So I just want to fi finish it like this. Thanking the professors, thanking you, the teachers and recognizing how important that they are in our society. Let's increase their salaries, guys. It's really important. It's really important because they are the answer for our future. And if you agree or if you disagree, please let me down here. And if you arrived until here, please leave me a like, comment, subscribe. You know how important it is for me. And yeah. Thank you for staying until here and see you in the next video. Vapoop, vai o basque. Papá.